Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to Raising Wellness and also Nemo's World because she just wants to be in this video. <laughs> and uh, today we are going to be talking about first how I'm feeling day three of my juice cleanse and then I also want to talk to you guys <laughs> talk to you guys about working out on a juice cleanse so we'll cover what not to do what to do and what I am doing so day three of the juice cleanse a little update my skin is starting to be more even tone it's feeling a lot smoother um, the past two days were really rough though guys like I'll be honest and say that I ate an avocado um, cause I have gone, I was working out very intensely for the past six months and then to rapidly decrease my calorie content was a little bit rough on my system. So if you do feel the urge to eat on a juice cleanse, then mash up a banana or mash up an avocado. Cause remember a juice cleanse is for relieving your body of the energy it needs for digestion. So if you mash something up, it's going to be easier on the digestive system than if you eat like chicken or uh, nuts which take 12 hours to digest in your system and take a lot of energy so mash something small up and eat that it made me feel a lot better and I ate it right before I went to bed and other than that I've been feeling really great I was a little bit tired the first couple of days and that's to be expected like I talked in our second video um, but other than that, I feel awesome, and today I want to talk to you guys about working out because, like I said, I was doing a really intense workout regime for the past six months, so I'll talk to you about what I'm doing now and why I'm doing that. But first, I want to talk to you guys about what not to do, and when you're on a juice cleanse, you should not do hardcore workouts like CrossFit or any high intensity workouts they are going to take a lot of muscle to accomplish because one, on a juice cleanse you most likely are at a calorie deficit and your body is working hard to detox. If you're more toxic in your body then it is going to be working even harder to rid those toxins out of your cells so your body's being taxed in that way especially the first three days of a juice cleanse so you don't want to tax it anymore by doing heavy lifting workouts and you will actually be pulling valuable energy needed to repair your muscles and repair uh, any injuries in your body or just to repair anything in your body after a workout that it needs you'll be pulling that energy from your juice cleanse into there and it won't be as beneficial so you won't get as many results if you are working out really hard on a juice cleanse with that being said, if you are doing an intense workout regime and you're in shape before a workout, then go ahead and do something a little bit heavier, but lighter than what you have been doing. And if that seems too intense still on your juice cleanse, then listen to your body and take it easy. Go a little bit slower. So it's really about listening to your body and honing in. Like I tried to do some more intense workouts the first day or the second day of my juice cleanse and I was too fatigued. So I, I went a little bit less on the workouts and it tuckered me out still. So you just have to listen to your body and see what's going to work for you. And if you are going to work out really intensely, add in extra fats and some extra proteins into your system. Personally, I'm getting 50 grams of protein from this juice cleanse, so that's an average amount, um, 50 grams of protein per day. So that's an average amount of protein that a human needs uh, if they're not looking to lose weight or build muscle or anything like that, just to have their daily functions. So. Take that into consideration if you're going to do something more intense. But what's recommended for a juice cleanse is light cardio. Walking, biking, not at any high intensity. Um, you can swim if you want to. Uh, yoga is really recommended, like the flow, light flows is really recommended because it is less intense. It stimulates your lymphatic system, it stimulates your lungs, it stimulates your colon so that you can excrete any of those toxins and waste through your bowel movements. So 
I urge you to work out, but just do a low intensity workout that still gets your heart racing a little bit, but not so much that you feel like you're going to pass out. So even with the lighter cardio workouts, if you are not in shape and walking or biking feels like it's going to make you pass out or throw up, then don't do it. <laughs> do something way less intense. If you need to, play a really intense game of blackjack or war or something. <laughs> something that gets your heart racing so that you can stimulate that lymphatic system and stimulate more of the detoxing. And so what I am personally doing, because I have been working out, like I said, pretty intensely for the past six months, I, my second day I did a more intense workout and it didn't really feel good so I've gone less and I started doing some of my ow, some of my home home yoga workouts and those are really awesome the home yoga workouts because I can go at my own pace rather than having to keep up taking over rather than having to keep up with a class so I can pause and go back and here you go play with that crazy. Um, so I added in, but I've added in my extra protein shake and that's contributing to my protein count and also my carb count. Um, and the protein shake also has other vitamins and minerals and nutrients in there from superfoods like maca, astragalus, ashwagandha. So it's covering a lot of my um, endocrine system, my nervous system. It's covering a lot of those things so that they are still getting the nutrients that they need and the stimulation that they need. And I also added in a little bit more of a nut milk, so it's a little bit higher in protein, and that's contributing to my protein as well. So <clears throat> the first three days are really rough. Um, like I said, I was feeling pretty lethargic. So in the next four to seven days, since my body isn't going through as much of a detox period, I'm going to try to amp up my workouts and I am going to put a montage here for you guys so that you can see what I have been doing those first three days of my workout or of my cleanse and I hope that you guys have been able to gain some information from this video so that you can cleanse safely and work out safely while your body is detoxing because it's so important that you listen to your body not only on a juice cleanse but in general but especially on a juice cleanse when you are giving it the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals it needs to detox. So focus on the detoxing, not so much on the losing weight or the working out. Focus on the detoxing, okay? All right, so I'll put a little video here so you can see what my workouts have been like. have any questions post them down below I would love to answer them I've been working in the juice cleanse world for three years now so I have a lot of info to give you guys um, but stay tuned for the next few videos I think I have five more videos so there's gonna be tons of information in there so I hope you guys check them out and I will see you next time